ce mă aveți? Nu ce mă aveți, să și frumos. Nu, ăla. I'm a Greek Catholic priest. I was consecrated in 1995 here in Cluj Napoca. The building of the church we're standing in began a year later. The parish presently numbers 1,800 worshippers. At the beginning, just before 1995, we used to meet in Monastur's primary school, and later, as more and more people came, we rented the local cinema and simultaneously began building the church. The basement, in which we presently worship, was built in two years. I am from Malta originally, and I have been here in uh, Romania and Cluj for the past 12 years. There was no parish when I arrived in uh, Romania. There were, uh, the structures were still uh, getting back after the revolution. And so the mass used to be said in a small classroom behind our block of flats. And then uh, the parish got the land and started the building. In 2001, we started a daily meal for the children who were on the street. And uh, within the first two months already, we had over 100, 150 people who were coming. The project, what we now call St. Joseph Social Center, has three different types of projects. The one you saw today, which is the feeding of the people who are mainly on the street, homeless. Then we have uh, distributed food parcels every Wednesday. And we have 40 families on that program, and uh, with children, of course. And then uh, we have another project for 20 people who get financial help in a time of crisis. Well, the government does not really help these people. Uh, the families that are jobless, once they have had uh, a little bit of help for two or three months, then obviously they don't get it anymore. And if they don't get another job, they will not have help. Uh, the social help is about 80 euros a month for a whole family. And if you have a number of children, that's not enough to feed them. A rent here in Cluj, if they don't own the building, it goes up to 100, 150 euros a month. So obviously, people can't make ends meet, and people are living in despair. I have no income because in Ceausescu's time, I had no regular job because of my eyes. 
Therefore, I only worked part-time and so did not meet set criteria that would have enabled me to receive social assistance. In those days, you had to meet certain criteria, which I had no way of fulfilling, so I have nothing, no social assistance. The sisters are so, so understanding, and, how should I put it, when we have problems, we can go and talk to them, and they help us. That helps me a lot. I can honestly tell you that without the canteen, the burden would be much heavier.